You know, before John and I were talking, there was a commercial break. And before the commercial break, I was over there, standing right over there, telling jokes. And I was telling you jokes about how yesterday morning Trump announced the raid that killed al Baghdadi. The president was feeling so good that last night he decided to attend Game 5 of the World Series between the Washington Nationals and the Houston Astros. One of those teams will soon have the greatest honor in sports, Trump's pile of filet fishes <laughs> This is a fish doc. Now, this is rare for him to go out like this. It has been a long time since Donald Trump faced anything other than a crowd of hand-picked supporters. And I have a feeling it's going to be a while before he does that again. <laughs> Because it did not go so well. The crowd started off cheering our troops, and then uh, Trump gets introduced. <laughs> the President of the United States got booed <laughs> while watching the national pastime. That is... <laughs> that is like getting kicked in the nuts by an apple pie. <laughs> a great American moment. A great American moment. Made me proud. And the crowd had more for Trump than just some booze. They also had their own twist on one of his favorite chants. <laughs> Yes. 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 They agreed with you. They they want to lock him up, put him away for life, or one baseball game, whichever feels longer. <laughs> but there was one person the crowd was delighted to see throughout the first pitch: superstar chef, friend of the show, and baseball Santa Claus. <laughs> Chef Jose Andres. Andres was recently nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize and was honored by the invite, tweeting, Thank you, Nationals, MLB, and Astros for inviting an immigrant to throw first pitch in a game full of immigrants. So, beard off. Beard on, beard off. Dang. So, the Nationals invited an immigrant and a vocal Trump critic to a game where they knew our anti-immigrant president would be. That's like going to a concert and hearing, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost ready to begin our Avengers movie marathon. But first, welcome your host for the evening, Martin Scorsese. <laughs> but, Jose nailed it. Look how happy he is. He even capped it off with a sweet pair of hot pink sunglasses, and those aren't just for style, because right after the game, he threw out the first song at an Elton John concert. <laughs> Jose's was good. <laughs> Jose's organization, World Central Kitchen, feeds people in disaster-stricken areas, and they just surpassed handing out 1.5 million meals just in the Bahamas, which is still recovering from Hurricane Dorian. And to that end, to that end, do you remember our book, Whose Boat Is This Boat? <laughs> Comments that don't help in the aftermath of the hurricane. This book is made up exclusively of super dumb things that Donald Trump actually said <laughs> right after a hurricane. Now, the proceeds from this book go toward hurricane relief. And with the help of our friends at Simon & Schuster, it has raised a ton of money. And the latest round of proceeds come to over $76,000, all of which were given to Jose's relief efforts in the Bahamas. And if you... If you want, which I'm sure you do, things are still incredibly hard for the people down in the Abacos. And if you want to help, and I know you do, go to wck.org. That's World Central Kitchens website and give generously or just buy the book Christmas is coming up and it's a great stocking stuffer provided your stockings are really wide and flat <laughs> and when we come back I preview this year's new holiday movies stick around